In the previous video, we have discussed the design steps for the design of tension member. Now we'll see an example. Uh, myself, Kazi Sayyid Shujat Ali, currently working as assistant professor in civil engineering department, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sulapur. Uh, at the end of the uh, session, students will be able to design a tension member. Mm, we have seen all these things, the strength in gross section yielding, in rupture and in block shear in our previous video. Just a recall of that, uh, the formula for uh, de design strength in gross section yielding TDG is equal to AG FY divided by gamma M0. Uh, in the case of net section rupture, uh, for the angle section TDN is equal to uh, this formula. Uh, if you want to see the detailed uh, formulas, you can refer my previous video. For the angle section, this is the formula. Beta is equal to this one. And uh, ANC is the area of connected leg. AG0 is the area of outstanding leg. FI is the yield strength. FU is the ultimate strength. These are the partial safety factors. And beta is a correction factor. Beta equal to this formula. W is given in this figure T thickness of member FI FU BS L this value should be less than or equal to this one and this value should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7 then the strength in blocks uh, block section uh, block shear failure is given by this formula TDB1 and TDB2 the strength in block shear failure uh, this is a, these are the design steps you can pause the video and just read these steps okay we'll start the question it is required to design a bridge truss diagonal to carry a factor tensile load of 250 kilo newton the length of member is 2.8 meter the tension member is connected to a gusset plate of 16 mm thickness with one line of 20 mm diameter bolts of grade 8.8 .8. uh, we have to design a single angle section we have to design an angle section for, uh, by using the grade of steel as 410 megapascal the given data is fe equal to 410 for that one fe equal to 410 newton per mm square fi equal to 250 newton per mm square the partial safety factor as per is 800 2007 equal to Gamma M0 equal to 1.1, Gamma M1 equal to 1.25 and Gamma MB is equal to 1.25. Now for grade 8.8, .8, grade of bolt 8.8, .8, ultimate strength equal to 830 Newton per mm square uh, for diameter greater than or equal to 16 mm. Um, now the net area of the bolt for 20 mm diameter it, it is equal to 0 0.78 pi by 4 d square. So D is equal to 20 mm, 0 0.78 pi by 4 D square, which is equal to 245 mm square. We'll take an assumption here. That is the thread will cut the, uh, the shear plane. The thread will cut the shear plane. And the shear strength of bolt VDSB is equal to FUB by root 3 gamma MB into ANB equal to this 93.92 kilo Newton. FUB is equal to 830. Uh, this is root 3 gamma mb 1.25 a and b is equal to 245 which is equal to 93.92 kilo newton uh, now then we'll determine the strength in bearing given by 2.5 kb d into t into fu divided by gamma mb into a and b now to determine this kb we have to uh, determine pitch edge distance and end distance normally pitch equal to 2.5 into normal di nominal diameter of bolt and end and edge distance equal to for machine flame cut edges it is equal to 1.5 gross diameter of bolt and for hand flame cut edges it is equal to 1.7 into gross diameter of bolt vdpb equal to kb d into t into fu divided by gamma mb into a and b we all know this except kb kb is determined by using these formulas kb equal to the minimum of e divided by 3 d naught p divided by 3 into d naught minus 0 0.25 then 
एफ यू बी डिवाइडेड बाई एफ यू और वन ई इज द एंड डिस्टेंस पी इज द पिच हाँ ई डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री डी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट टू दिस इक्वल टू दिस दिस इक्वल टू दिस दिस इक्वल टू द लेसर इज पॉइंट सिक्स एट टू वी यूज दैट वैल्यू देन डायमीटर देन थिकनेस हियर वी एज्यूम द थिकनेस ऑफ द मेम्बर एफ यू इक्वल टू फोर वन जीरो देन एरिया डिवाइड बाई गामा एम बी वी गेट द वैल्यू एज एटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर्टी एट देन वील टेक द लेसर ऑफ दिस टू शेयर स्ट्रेंथ एज वेल एज बियरिंग स्ट्रेंथ सो द लेसर इज एटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर्टी एट नंबर ऑफ बोल्ट इक्वल टू द गिवन फैक्टर्ड फोर्स डिवाइडेड बाई एटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर्टी एट विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री वील प्रोवाइड इट इन अ सिंगल लाइन ऑल द थ्री बोल्ट देन वील डिटरमाइन द एरिया बाई यूजिंग नेट सेक्शन फ्रैक्चर ए एन इज टी एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन ए एन इंटू एफ यू डिवाइड बाई गामा एम वन विल री अरेंज द टर्म विल डिटरमाइन ए एन विच इज इक्वल टू एट फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एटी एट एम एम स्क्वेयर देन विल इंक्रीज दिस एरिया बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट टू गेट द ग्रॉस एरिया आफ्टर इंक्रीजिंग ट्वेंटी परसेंट वी गेट दिस वन वी ऑल्सो डिटरमाइन द एरिया बाई यूजिंग द ग्रॉस सेक्शन ईयरिंग टी इक्वल टू ए जी इंटू एफ आई डिवाइडेड बाई गामा एम नॉट री अरेंजिंग द टर्म्स ए जी is equal to t into gamma m naught divided by fy which is equal to 1100 mm square then we'll select and section depending on this area uh, isa 100 by 75 by 8 area is this diameter of bolt hole is this connected area is this outstanding area is this i hope you know how to calculate these areas uh, then we'll determine the design strength due to net section which is governed by the tearing strength at net section uh, tdn equal to 0.9 into anc into fu divided by gamma m1 plus beta into ag not into fi divided by gamma m not uh, we have to calculate this beta by using this formula and this value should be less than this value and this value should be greater than or equal to 0.7 first of all we will determine this value W equal to outstanding leg seventy five mm. W S fifty mm. We'll assume it. Shear leg width equal to B S equal to W plus W S minus T equal to one hundred and seventeen mm. L C equal to length of connection equal to one thirty mm. Beta comes out to be one point double zero nine. Then we'll determine this value zero point nine into F U into gamma m not divided by F Y into gamma m one. This comes out to be one point three. It is greater than zero point seven. We'll compare this value with beta. Uh, it is one point three, and beta is comes out to be one point double zero nine. Therefore, beta is less than this value. We take beta as one point double zero nine. We put the value of put beta here. We'll determine the strength TDN, which comes out to be three zero five point zero one kilonewton, greater than two fifty or given force. Therefore, safe. Then we'll determine the strength in block shear. First of all, A V G is the. This is the shear plane. This is the tension plane for the gross shear. We take this much length. So two into sixty-five plus forty-five into eight, and net area. We have to subtract the diameter of these bolts. Two into sixty-five plus forty-five minus two point five into twenty-two. How this two point five comes? This one, this one, and this half. Uh, we'll get. The net area and shear for tension gross is our similar fifty into fifty is this length so fifty into eight and to determine the net area we have to subtract this half bolt mm, for shear this uh, for the shear plane uh, it cuts this bolt completely it cut this bolt completely and it cut this bolts partially half bolt get cuts here. And for tension, uh, similar, this bolt gets cut only partially. Then by using the formula for shear yield and tension fracture T D B one, we have determined in the previous slides the A V G and A T N, A T G and A V N. We will put all these terms, and we will determine T D B one equal to two seventy five point eight kilonewton and T D B two. Equal to two fifty four point five kilonewton. We'll compare it. We'll compare it uh, with this one, whichever is less. We'll take that as an our strength in block shear failure. 
will determine the bro block shear failure uh, by uh, we, we have determined this here and we'll take the lesser one and we compare it our given factor force it is greater than our given factor force therefore it is safe in block shear failure then we take a check on slenderness ratio slenderness ratio is given by effective length divided by least radius of variation it is equal to 176 now the permissible slenderness ratio as per is 800 2007 table number 3 is equal to 180 therefore 176 is less than 180 safe it is safe in slenderness ratio uh, these are some review questions you can pause the video and answer this question the design strength of the steel section due to gross section yielding tdg is given by so tdg equal to whichever the uh, which formula we use for the design of uh, for the design of the section in gross section yielding the answer is option a and the another question is the design strength of plate due to rupture of critical section is given by the answer is option d these are my references thank you